Now I've seen this design online quite a few times and I've actually worked out how to design it so I can show you guys the fastest way to make this smooth gradient design in Adobe Illustrator. So we need to have a three color palette and so choose three colors that you think will blend well together and then make three different squares like so. So go ahead and select those three squares and open up the swatches library. In the top right fly down menu, we're going to create a new swatch group. And you can of course give it a relevant name, but I'm not going to do that today. For today's tutorial, the HSB color mode is going to be really quite important later down the line and you will see why. So now we need to make sure we have just the stroke selected in the color palette with no fill. And then we want to select the option of having the gradient applied around the stroke, which is the middle option here. So press L for the ellipse tool and then hold down shift and click and drag to generate a circle. And do remember to have that middle option selected in the gradient panel. We do want that gradient to go around the stroke. And so now you're going to need to increase the stroke weight and also rescale the circle by holding down shift. We essentially want to remove that small middle circle in the center. So now hold down the shift key and carefully rotate the circle until it's at a 45 degree angle like so. And also I'm going to revert the direction of the gradient here. Now hold down the Alt Option key and click and drag to duplicate the circle. On our new circle, hold down Shift again, but this time rotate it by 180 degrees. And then lastly, again revert the direction of the gradient. This isn't necessary at this stage, but I just like to know where the darker and lighter points of my hues are. And so now a bit of a fiddly operation, we just need to nudge the circles together perfectly in line. You want to get it so the 45 degree angle line touches the top of the second circle. And so when you're ready, click the top circle and then come into the gradient panel. We're going to double click the color node and you should be able to find the swatches group that you created earlier. So add the first color from your selection and then on the second node of this circle use the second color. Then we're going to move down to the bottom circle and on the first node in the gradient panel, we're going to use the second color again because we want the gradient to blend and match smoothly. And then on the bottom color node, use your third color. And so it doesn't obviously look smooth at the moment. And so just click the top circle and adjust the slider in the gradient menu. Also, you're going to want to add a third color node simply by clicking the slider here. And for this new color node, apply the same middle color that we've been using throughout the entire tutorial. It's just a case of moving the slider and positioning that third color node properly. And we're going to again apply the same method process on the below second circle. So add that third node and also play around the slider a little bit. You just want to get that really nice blend and that smooth transition. This isn't the end of the tutorial, because I'm sure you want to know how to make a really nice background. And also there are some more technical tips you should be aware of. So we can click a node and then head into the HSB color mode I mentioned earlier. And this is a good choice because we can adjust the tints and the shades of our design. And that is the lightness or the shadow of a color. And so you might want to change how dark or illuminated your gradient is. As an example, look on the bottom circle here with the last node. I can really increase the shades so that the hue is a lot darker and thus the gradient has a more stark contrast. So you have the smooth gradient design, but you should expand the shape once it's completed. And that is so you can then resize your design to any scale without it changing in some way. But also what about that background that you can see on my design? How did I make that? But if I hide my design with command or control three, I can then select the background by pressing G. And you can see I have several color nodes. This is the freeform gradient tool, which is accessible in Illustrator CC. I do have hues from the swatch group I made and also I have white. However, the hue here has an opacity of 50%. 
And if you want to learn more skills, more techniques, and just some creative goodness in Illustrator, do click one of the videos on screen. But until next time, guys, design your future today. Peace.